David, how you feeling? Uh, yeah. How you feeling? And uh, uh, do you think you rewrite your play this week? Uh, I feel great. Uh, honestly, mentally, I feel like I've been handling things well. I feel like I've been in good spirits. Uh, as far as me being ready to play, I feel like it's, it's only the beginning of the week. So I feel like it's a day-to-day -day process, and I don't want to you know, give a false accusation of you know, something I don't really know for sure. Are you going to be able to go full speed, you think? Sure. Uh, but being the, the, the competitor that you are, I mean, how is that, I guess, you know, being on the sideline, I guess, just watching for all these weeks? Yeah, that's, the, that's been the, uh, the most challenging, I feel. But then, you know, you have to impact your team in different ways. So just learning how to impact the team in different ways, I want to say, has been my own um, the way of overcoming the uh, competitiveness in me. How has it been for you uh, kind of helping out Noah and Jalen just from like a mental, emotional standpoint, even though you physically couldn't help the team? I mean, it's honestly something I've been doing in the quarterback room. Um, even when I was healthy throughout the summer, throughout fall camp, I mean, we always give each other feedback, whether it's me giving. We all talk to each other. I feel like that's the only way we can um, grow as uh, the group, as, as the room. And, um, it's just always been there. Recovery process over the last three weeks been pretty smooth, you'd say, with your ankle. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my first time being injured, but just taking it day by day, like I said. Talk a little bit about uh, Darren Morris. You hooked up with him a couple of times in, in the uh, in the games you've been in. What what makes him a good receiver? He's just a baller. He's an athlete. He's a football player. I mean, so everything is not going to um, play out how Coach Collar and every play is not going to be uh, perfect. I feel like Darren Moore is the perfect receiver of making things happen when that's there and, um, and giving him the ball in open space to let him create his own space. So he's definitely a great player, a good baller, and a good receiver to have on my team. How critical do you think this next stretch is going to be? I mean, wouldn't it, you know, how quick? I mean, how critical do you think this stretch, I mean, as far as you know, Texas Southern and all these sweat games coming up, I mean, how much do you think you're going to learn about this team this, in, uh, in this month? Um, this month is really important as a team. I feel like every game going to going to give us a different lesson, whether we win or lose. And it's important for us to hone in on the lesson, no matter if it's a win or a lose. We can't get too high, we can't get too low. We have to stay level-headed in achieving our goals, which is to be to our championship. Would you say the team put the loss to the nickels in the rearview mirror? Definitely. I mean, we just came back. We knew that wasn't us. We knew that wasn't how we play football. So we just want to go at the next opponent at full speed ahead. Would you say the team responded pretty well? I mean, your goals are still well ahead of you I mean, guys. Not, yeah, because it's not really too much to say. I mean, we just have to do it at this point. Rather, it's weights, just practice in general. There's not really much you can say out there after a game like that. You know what I mean? It's all about action. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.